Here, we will create a huge fire where the building is destroyed. Starting with the barrel on fire effect, I start by blocking the volume of the main smoke. Then I add some volume and fake lighting using the same smoke, but with a brownish light color. This way, we define the main colors in this effect. Changing the rendering order of the particle systems, we can test different settings. Some flames on the bottom of the smoke are a starter for the fire effects in this particle system. These particles are following the velocity, so this effect only works from certain specific points of view. This way we can reduce the number of particles being used. Then we can add some more flames to make the link between the flames at the bottom and the smoke rising from it. The goal is to give coherence and realism to this effect. Movement is key to a good fire. Try also to match the colors to blend the flames together. They are part of the same fire. I add a very bright smoke to blend the fire and the smoke and simulate the light coming from the fire. Then I add some fireballs to continue blending the fire and the smoke. Some sparks are added they add details and life to the fire. They have random size and rotations. The big black smoke lacks some details, so add a thick black smoke, which helps make the transition between the fireballs and the smoke behind. We could also add a burnt texture on the walls to have a better integration with the fire on the level. Lastly, I add an omni light with an animated texture as if the fire was lighting the building. The material used is added as a light function in the omni light, an animated noise texture which rotates and pans. Finally, I add a black burnt mesh, and inside the burning room, a mesh with a scrolling fire texture. This is really just an example to show you that your particles alone will not get the job done. So be ready to add other elements like lights, meshes with animated textures, and so on.